All right, guys, today we're over here at Pho Bamboo. We're gonna see what they have today. They have some special dishes for me, and I'm excited to taste it out. This is a place over here in Beaumont, across from Parkdale Mall. You won't miss it, Pho Bamboo in Beaumont, Texas. Let's go. All right, so the first thing that we got is the Cafe Sudat. This is Vietnamese coffee made with dark French roasted coffee. So uh, if you guys know anything about Vietnamese coffee, they usually make it with the good stuff, which is Cafe Du Monde, and that's what they have over there in the back. So excited, let's give this a taste. This is good. This is like super rich with the condensed milk and also the coffee is strong too. So that's what you want from a good Cafe Sudat. So to start off our meal at Pho Bamboo, I decided to go with the egg rolls and also the fried chicken wings with fish sauce. All right, so first off, we got our two appetizers over here. This is the wings right there. Let's give this one a taste. So this is one of the specialty. This is with the fish sauce wings. You wouldn't think that that goes well together, but trust me, it probably does. You have to taste some of that soy sauce. And then, of course, there's like the fish sauce. With a little bit of spice, too. Good wing. You gotta eat it to the bone, because that's the way I like to do it. Actually, the last video, y'all didn't see it, but I ate some wings. I actually chipped a tooth, but it's part of the thing of eating food. Sometimes you break a tooth. I do this for y'all. Super tasty. That sauce is really good. Could use some blue cheese. That's what I like. And let's taste these spring rolls. So here's the spring rolls. Just take it in half. You see there is all of the meat. You see there's the meat inside there is pork and a mixture of like some mushrooms and like I think wood ear mushrooms, some ginger maybe. And I like to actually use the lettuce here to add a little another layer of crispness to it. So I wrap it in the lettuce and then dip it in the fish sauce. This is the nook bomb. You know, the other day I was at a different Vietnamese place and they gave me a Vietnamese spring roll. It was like a vegetable one, but this one is legit over here at Pho Bamboo. These two appetizers are great. They're very good. I, I mean, it, it hits all of the points of like savoriness, some sweetness with the nook mom, with the fish sauce, with the sugar, I'm sure that's inside here. Everything tastes really good. And I'm excited to see what else we have. So what is that next dish? It is called Bonet. This is something that can be only found at Pho Bamboo. They use this hot wok, saute the onions, add the beef, and then they mix it up with all that sauce to get that nice wok flavor. After that, they serve it on a sizzling plate with a fried egg. They then add all the beef to it, put on some liver pate on the side, and also a meatball. This is basically an open-faced sandwich Deconstructed banh mi is just also served with a baguette and lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumber. There you go. So this one is called bonet, and it's served with an egg, some pate, you have the beef, and then a baguette with all of the sides over here. So almost, I would, I don't even know how to eat this, but I would assume you eat it like a sandwich. So let's uh, break the yolk. There we go. Get a little bit of the pate. Get a piece of the meat. And then let's put a little bit of here. Let's put some cucumber. It's almost like a mini banh mi, right? Without the pickled vegetables. So let's give this a taste. Dip it in the sauce. Mm. 
Something about the liver pate, I really like. Like in the banh mi, if you get the combination, banh mi it usually has some head cheese, some liver pate in there too. And man, it's really good. Let's, let's get the beef again, right here. Cheers. Super flavorful. I never had this before. This is the only place in Beaumont that actually has this bonnet dish. So if you guys wanna try something different, try this. We aren't done yet. You have to get a bowl of pho when you're at a place called pho bamboo. So this one is their pho bamboo bowl. It comes with two ribs. And we're gonna try it right now. Check out this bowl of pho right here. It has everything that you could ever want and also a beef rib, two beef ribs actually. So this is one beef rib. Here's another beef rib. You have the, this is like brisket over here. This is brisket. You have the meatballs. And then you have some tendon also. So this is the tendon. Of course, all the noodles over here. All right, guys, this is the pho bamboo. So this is what they're known for. This is, like I said, has two beef ribs. Let's go ahead and prepare it. You gotta put some of the basil in there. Probably someone said that if you slap the basil, it releases some of the oils. Who knows if that's true? Let's put a few leaves in there. And actually, if you don't use all this basil, you could really propagate it at home. Just stick this in a thing of water and then you can have a nice little basil plant. But uh, other things we have here are the bean sprouts. Put that in there. And then a couple of the jalapenos right there. So the first thing you gotta do with any pho is taste the broth by itself. Let's give it a taste. Flavorful, it's got that rock sugar, so pho, they use rock sugar. That's what gives it the sweetness. There's also some fish sauce, a lot of different, um, there's a lot of different spices in here to make it what it is. And uh, yeah, today the broth is really good. Because like I said before, in my other videos, if you have to add sriracha, add the hoisin, for some reason I was calling this oyster sauce in my last video, if you have to add all this inside of your pho, then you can't trust the pho. It's not a good pho. You're just adding, you're just eating hoisin and sriracha. And what I like to do is make a little sauce myself with the hoisin and then also the sriracha. And then spray this with a little bit of lime. And then we give this a taste. Let's taste the brisket. Nice little fatty piece of brisket. Really good. It's good to eat pho on a nice 102 degree weather that we're having here in Southeast Texas. So let's go ahead and uh, eat some of the noodles. See how that tastes. There's so much meat in here. Let's get a better bite right here. Oh yeah, this is a good bite. You got some of the meat, some noodles. Mm. Really good. Let's go for this beef rib. Check it out. This one is super tender. This is really fall off the bone. Like you don't need anything. This is good. I'm liking that. You can taste a little bit of the star anise in there. I feel like good bowl of pho. So right now I'm gonna enjoy all my food, but I'll talk to you all in a little bit. All 
All right, this is the aftermath of all the food. We finished both appetizers, but after the appetizers were full, so we're gonna take this home, take the pho home as well. Trust me, no food will go to waste. I will eat it all up, and that's why I have to work out. Because in order to do these videos, I need to work out or else I'm gonna balloon up to 300 pounds. I'm already 250 pounds, so I'm gonna take this home, and we'll talk to you back outside. All right, guys, so that's me it for pho bamboo. The staff over there, super friendly. Chris, I appreciate you having me over there. If you guys want to try something different, definitely try that Bonet dish. They are the only place in Beaumont that actually makes that dish. It's really popular in Houston, but you can only get that Bonet dish over here in Beaumont over at Pho Bamboo. So yeah, check it out. The ribs are good. Those wings were some of my favorite wings that I've had in a long time. And that's saying a lot from a guy like me who eats wings all the time. So yeah, make sure if you guys want to follow me to the food to subscribe, leave me a comment and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.